Hi everyone, Jenny here. I'm going to try and do this on my iPhone camera since I can't find my flip camera. So uh, let's get started. I stamped with Memento the background, large background image from Hero Arts and I colored it in completely with RV13 on each flower, if you can see that. Now I'm going to go back and do the shading. I want to go to the next color, which is RV14, and I'm going to color this in here. Let's do this one here. Maybe, hopefully, you can see this without me messing it up too much and wiggling it too much. So, what you want to do is go with either the next color up in number or two colors up, but you always want to go two colors down or two colors up from your main color. So I'm going to flick, flick your color up. Hopefully you can see this. You want to do this because the image, the flowers are it's heading up, so you want to do towards the sun, towards the light. Okay, let me see how that adds a nice shade. Now I'm going to go a couple shades up again with RV17, and I'm just going to go in around the edging and flick up again but not too far you don't want to pass what you just did and if I mess up sorry I'm trying to hold the phone and do this at the same time I'm just trying to give you a general idea here on how to do this I'm going to go back with my first color, my starter color, RV13, and I'm going to blend it. So you want to flick back down. You can also flick up to try and get rid of those lines and kind of swirl them around. That's how I do it. That's my technique because the RV17 is really dark, so it's hard to blend. Looks so pretty. Let's try another petal here. I'm going to use my RB14. Flick up. Let's focus in here. It's hard to do this and try and hold the camera at the same time. I'm going to go in with RV17 just a tiny bit. Just to give it a nice shading. I'm going to go back with my first color. Flick up again to get rid of those lines. You want to try and get rid of all that flicking you did. You can also circle like I'm doing right now to get rid of that. So hopefully you can see this. The camera's not as good as my flip camera, so it's hard to see it. And I'll also give step-by-step -step instructions since I'm doing this on a whim with my phone camera. I also started with, this is going to be my background, I stamped the flower background and then I stamped, I distressed it with um, evergreen bow 
from Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And then I stamped uh, the dictionary stamp on top of that from Hero Arts. Love that stamp. It's great. It's going to come in real handy. So, <clears throat> I hope this shows you a little bit on how to do this. I love coloring with my Copics. It's so much fun. There are a lot of, for you that are just starting out, there are lots of videos on YouTube as well to help you get started. That way you can really learn to use your Copics. If you want to go back in and make the bottom darker, you can. That's up to you. But I just like these colors a little bit harder to work with because they're so... They're in the same color family, but they really get much darker when you go too many colors up. But I don't have another color in between for my darkest color. That's only two shades up, so I had to use RV. 17. So that's going three shades up, which I really don't want to do, but I had to. So I'm going to finish this and then I will share it with you guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment here and I will get back to you. Just be sure to leave me an email if your blogger does not have an email attached to it. Thank you. Have a great day.